Hello everyone and welcome to this tutorial. So today what I'm going to be showing you is how you can send emails in Node.js using the Node Mailer package. So I'll be showing you how you can send an email to a single recipient, multiple recipients, and also how you can include attachments and embedded images. So at the top of your script, you're going to want to import Node Mailer using require like I am here. And you're also going to need to install the package. So you can see there's no package.json or no modules folder here. So what you need to do is, first of all, I've already done it, cd into my project folder. And then I'm going to create a new node project here using npm init flag y. So that's going to accept all of the defaults for a new project without me having to hit return many times. And then I'm going to install node mailer with npm i node mailer. So now this is complete, I can go back to my project folder and you now see there's a package.json file listing node mailer as a dependency. So we can now start working with node mailer. But first, what I'm going to do is to create the email content itself. And this is in HTML format. So I would advise using a template literal to do this, that's backticks. So for this email, I'll just say, hello world. And below it, I'll include a paragraph. And a bit later on, I'll be adding an image to this when we come on to attachments. So now that I've created the HTML for the email, what I'm going to do is create a function here that's going to send the email. And there's going to be some asynchronous processes that return a promise inside this function. So I'm going to use the async keyword before it so that I can use await within the function. And I'll call this function main. And I'll be calling this function down here to send the email. So inside this function, I'm going to call the create transport method on the imported node mailer package. And what we're going to specify here inside an options object that we pass in is information about the mail server that we're going to be sending the email from. So I'm going to be setting this up to work with a mail server connected to a shared hosting account that I have. But you can also use settings for Gmail if you want to test this out. So I will post the link to this information in the description below this video. So you want to use the settings for the outgoing mail server here. If you don't have Gmail or a shared hosting account, you're going to need to check the documentation with your email account for the SMTP outgoing mail server settings. So the first property to set is the mail server. So in my case, that's mail.openjavascript.info. The port associated with handling the sending of the mail is usually 465 for SMTP. So this is sort of a default port that most servers use, and usually it's a secure connection. So you want to set the secure property to true. And the next thing to do is, of course, authorize yourself with the mail server that you're using. So you do that with a user and a pass property. In my case, I created a test email, test at openjavascript. Dot info and the password is node mailer 123. Okay, so I just add a comma here and now we're done defining the transport settings. So I'm going to save a reference to these settings under transporter. And then what we're going to do is to call send mail on the transporter, passing in another object here where we're actually passing in the email itself. And this is an asynchronous process that returns a promise with information about the request, whether it was successful or not. So we're going to await the information. And after that, log message sent. And you can also include an ID that has been generated for this particular mail. So that's available on info 
message ID. Now, if there is an error in sending the mail, then transporter.sendmail is going to throw an error. And this console message that we just constructed is not going to be logged. So how do we catch the error? Well, it's going to throw an error. So we can catch that when we are calling the main function and I just log the error to the console in case there is one. And now we're ready to start defining the contents of the email itself. So the first property to define here is from. So what we want to include here is the name of the sender and after that, the email of the sender. So in this case, it's from the test email account that I created and also who it's going to. So I created another test email account. So I'll be sending it to that address. You can also include a subject here. So I'll say testing, testing one, two, three. And finally, you want to define the content of the email. So I defined that up above under the reference HTML in the template string. So that's all there is to it for sending an email with some HTML content to a single email address. So what I'll do now is save what we've got so far and run the app. And hopefully that is going to send the email to my email address. So this is the ID that it is outputting for this particular mail. The fact that we can see it means that it was successful. And if I check the email account I was sending it to, you see that we got just a few seconds ago the email. You can see that it's printing the markup that we created inside the body of the email. Now, the next thing I want to show you is how you would send this email to multiple recipients. So you don't need to do much in the code other than I just copy this out. So what I'm going to do above is create an array that will include the email addresses that I want to send the mail to. So just under the marker, I'll create that reference and inside emails, I'm going to define the email that we just sent it to. And I'll also include an email that doesn't yet exist. So test three, I didn't create this email before the tutorial. Now where we have this console log, so it's still going to log a message ID if one of the emails is sent successfully. So we would expect the first one to be sent successfully and the second one not to work. So this message will still be logged. And to get the information about which emails were successful and which were not, I can log to other bits of information to the console. So info.accepted and info.rejected. And each one of these will return an array that contains the emails for which the sending was successful and the emails for which it was not. So apart from that, I don't need to change anything else. So I will run the app once again. So as I mentioned, because one of the emails was sent successfully, we get this first message with the ID out to the console. And then in the first array with successful emails, we get test2 at openjavascript.info. And in the rejected emails, we get test3 at openjavascript.info. So exactly as we would expect. Okay, so the final thing I want to talk about is how you can add attachments. So I'll take these two images here and place those in my project folder. And then you define attachments as an array of objects inside the object where you are defining the message itself. So for each attachment, you define three things. The first one is the file name. So you can name this whatever you want. I'll just name it the same as it is on my computer. The second is the par. So in this case, it's rather straightforward. It's image1.jpg. And finally, if you want to embed it in the email, in the case of an image, then you want to give it a content ID. So this is simply a unique 
email client value. So the unique value comes first, and then I'll set it to at open javascript.info. And then for the second image, I'll do the same. But I'm not going to define a CID here because I won't use it in the email itself. So to embed the first image in the body of the email, I take the content ID and then inside the markup, create a new image element with an SRC that starts with CID colon and then the ID that I gave to it. And I'll set a width here, 400. So the image isn't too big in the email. Now I'll run the app one more time. Okay, so that's successfully sent to test two again. If I open that email address and I'll refresh, see that that email came through now and it includes the image one embedded in the body and also both images as attachments. So that is it for this tutorial on how you can send emails in Node.js using Node Mailer. So I hope you found this tutorial useful. If you did, please consider hitting the like button down below this video. It helps with the algorithm and others to find this video. And if you'd like to see more content like this from us in the future, don't forget you can subscribe to the channel.